Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob. My name is Bob Babbitt. We are brought to you by Epson, and you're watching us on triathlete.com. We're at the Para Tri this morning in beautiful Chicago at the IT World Championship. Jamie Brown, JP the Bears, competing. JP, your seventh time. Jamie, your fifth time. Talk a little bit about what it means to compete in a big city like this with a sport, really, that wasn't a, hasn't been around that long. This, this is probably the most important world championship that Parachai has ever had because it's leading into the Paralympics. Okay. And uh, so, so it really it brought out the best of the best and uh, it, it, it's unparalleled in, in, in ever. I mean, I think we've had, we've been doing this for what, 15 years? Yeah. So, uh, and this has been the biggest show rate with the highest caliber athlete and that, that's really what makes it special to me. So getting into the Paralympics, becoming part of the Olympic, uh, the Olympic program, has really, I think, up the ante around the world in terms of athletes. Jamie, is it, how much have you seen the competition change in your years? Tenfold. Um, certainly when they group the, uh, the lower limb athletes with the upper limb athletes, it's, uh, it's kind of been a big game changer for us being uh, the leg guys. But, um, but that's what you want. Right? No, I Not mean, it, it just depends on the, you know, some courses are going to benefit us a little bit yeah. more than them. And, but I mean, in all, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you the best competition. And uh, if you're a competitive guy or person, you, that's what you want to race against. So. And coming from the world of baseball, how big a transition was this getting into this endurance world? Uh, quite different. It's, uh, I mean, <laughs> different, completely different type of training. It's a team sport to an individual sport. I know we, we race for our, our country. And, uh, but, yeah, no, I mean, I, I can't even compare the two, to be honest with you. Love it. And, and, and JP, for someone who's been in this as long as you have, how, how old were you when, you when you lost your leg? I was 26. So at I, that point, what was available? Not much, not much. You know, we had, uh, you know, we, we had people would just open, you know, open age group races, which is great. It, 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 my goal was always to beat the two-legged freaks. <laughs> and that got me faster and faster. But then, then we saw more amputees getting into the sport, and, right. and we, we tried to recruit more amputees to get, so that we get Paralympic inclusion. We went and recruited B BKs all over the world to participate in the sport, Argentina, right. Morocco. And, and now the sport is what it is because of the efforts of the early, early, you know, the early pioneers, I guess, and uh, the guys who came before me, you know, freaking Rivaldo and Paul Martin and, and, and McLaren. I mean, those guys forged the path for all of us, and, and it's our, our responsibility to continue that path. What's interesting is the reality is the more people get in, the less chance you're going to meddle, right, because there's people coming in who are faster. But at the same time, the sport doesn't grow. Unless we get new people from around the world, you work harder. You work harder. I mean, I this I'm I'm getting older, and this is I run, I'm I'm the fastest I've ever been. Really? I'm the fastest I've ever been. I think today's race I probably had a PR in the 5K, probably a PR on the bike, and probably a PR on the swim. And you, Jamie? Likewise. I mean, I I, I just keep getting you know faster with the with the competition, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that and you get to compete in Chicago in the U.S. So how often do we get a world championship here? Um, that, that alone, that, that, that's a PR and all in itself. So, How do you get to the Paralympics from here for a para try? What's, what's the path for you guys? We, we don't have enough time in this interview for us to explain <laughs> how the It's very convoluted, huh? It is like the, uh, the able-bodied, but um, a, no, a whole other algorithm. <laughs> yeah, the guys are going to get, get all the points, so yeah. we're not going to be able to get in the Paralympics. The leg guys right, won't be able to get in under points, but there's yeah. other ways to get in also. Yeah. Yeah. Large yeah, there's at large invitations, but it'll be kind of a shame if there are no BKs in the Paralympics. No, you're I mean, considering that we're, we're we're the early pioneers of the sport. Exactly. Jim McLaren being the first yep. BK, he's the one who got it all started, in my opinion. No you know, so Paul Martin followed up. Yeah, on that yeah, Rivaldo. I mean, all those guys. Yannick, Yannick's been around for a long time. Well, he's not a BK, but still, you know. Perfect. Hey, boys, thanks so much for all you do for CAF and for being great role models, and I love the fact, JP, how old are you now? 43. 43 and you're fa faster than ever. Yeah, faster than I've been. I still need to get faster, though, if I want to keep up with these young guys. <laughs> so who got who today? He got me. And you're how old? I'm, I'm 36. So you should be giving him 10 seconds. 10, 10 uh, seconds a year? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe next year. This is probably the closest I've been to you in a real race where nobody fucked up. Hey, you know, yeah. excuse my French. That's okay. You know, we all had our, I think we all hit our, our perfect races. So yeah, we had a, it was we had a good day. Fair. It was a great conditions everything. You couldn't, couldn't ask for a better race. Perfect. Again, it's Jamie Brown. There's been our guest. 
This is Breakfast with Bob. We're at the World Championships ITU here in beautiful Chicago. Brought to you by Epson, and you're, we're airing on triathlete.com. Hold on, everyone. We'll be right back. Thanks, boys.